So I'm so excited. You know, I did the video where I have this and guess what? I'm getting it fitted in something popped. It did. It popped. Like not a good pop, a bad pop. But I'm actually not too extravagantly worried about it because I can fix it. So what popped was as I was strengthening these, this part right here, see what should be an X here, is not. So that popped out. Now, any other time you'd probably get like completely like, what? But you know what? I still feel like it's a good deal, even though it's under 40 bucks. And this is why everybody should own a sewing machine. Because see, all I have to do, see that? All I have to do is get that in here. And then I'm going to go to my sewing machine and put a denim needle in, not a regular universal, a denim, because I need it to pierce through here. And I'm just going to restitch this. You know, so sometimes we'd be like totally flipped out, like, oh my goodness, it's not usable. Not in my book. That's why I have a sewing machine. That's why I'm just so Trish. So think about that. All right, not really. I'm not trying to be mean at all. Um, but it is something to think about. Sometimes this, I mean, which is probably why I got it for the price I did. And honestly, this is a make or break deal for some people. This is an easy fix. It's a super easy fix. No big deal. Just a denim needle. Denim needles are the best. They're the strongest. So I'll put a denim needle in my sewing machine and I'm going to have this jammed up. And in fact, because of the person I am, I'm probably going to do it in red. So I'm going to be like, yep, that's where I fixed it. And that's why I got this thing for 40 bucks off. Hmm. So talk about a non-consumer advocate moment. I don't know. There's a whole web Facebook group on that one. And being frugal, I don't mind doing a little sewing repair for a great deal. And this is my example. So... Here is so, so. You ever notice I use that word a lot? So, am I really saying so or S E W? All right, seriously. So, <laughs> so. Um, here's my thing. I am just so Trish, and I don't do a lot of talking about sewing, but I'm an advocate for everybody to own a sewing machine. I don't get on that soapbox very often. Maybe I'll spend the summer being on the soapbox. But it's little things like this that make sewing so important. And there's so many things you can do to repair, to mend, or to get a great deal just because you own a sewing machine and you know how to work it. I believe everybody should own a sewing machine. That is like one of those tools, like everybody should have a fire detector and a sewing machine in your house and a fire extinguisher too. I consider sewing to be one of the top things of a tool in your house. And then some basic knowledge how to use it. Even if all you know how to do is a forward and a backward stitch and you know how to thread the machine and you understand the needles, you can move the world. Really. Really, you can, well, not really move the world. The world's going to move without you. With or without you, you being on the world actually has no bearing on it moving because it moves and it rotates on its own. But beyond that, you have a better sense of control of your world Anything from a little strap breaks, you can fix it. You can fix a lot of things and you can make things and you're not so dependent on crazy things. So maybe this is above your realm and you're like, really, seriously, we don't all need to own a sewing machine. You do and maybe I'll make it my goal this summer to tell you why. All right, enough of that. Just wanted to let you know. <laughs>